Hello friends, Jesse here. Today we're going to review eight stunning condos you can buy right now in a townhome, which I've posted on UrbanRealtyToronto.com. And then I'm going to give you a bit of a review of how to find listings, where are they, how to find assignments, where to watch the videos. I'm going to show you like a list of all the important things, okay? Let's dive into it. Uh, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto real estate agent, mortgage broker with Search Realty and Search Mortgage. Love this company. This is my Twitter, twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan. Uh, earlier today, I posted, uh, I made a live map with all new listings. Now, this is uh, the newsletter that I sent today, Thursday. And what it's got, it's got a whole bunch of uh, fresh links that update automatically. And when you click on it, this is the archive. If you go to my Twitter, you'll actually get this file. So, for example, when you hit downtown, you're going to see what's going on downtown. Okay, the system will open and load the latest... Uh, listings is already sorted by latest listings. So this one here, 549, came uh, last from before and before and so so on and so forth. And this loads um, downtown by by um, by default. Okay, so you can just go here. Um, it'll include, for example, uh, this assignment at Kingley. Uh, it'll be included here. Okay. All right. Cool. So let's. Uh, what I want to do, I want to start with today, is I want to start with reviewing um, these. Uh, New listings I got for you, these beautiful uh, eight ones. Uh, there's a link, where'd they go? Oh, Twitter, where are you? <laughs> I don't know, down here somewhere. I guess I posted more. So let's start. Okay, 608 Richmond. Um, this is the Harlow building, was built by Lamb Developments. It recently occupied, it looks really, really nice. I really like the, the final product. It's kind of got a, like a lofty, cool, look with exposed everything the concrete's exposed the ceilings exposed you can finish it you like or you can just leave it the way it is so these are various units that on the market right now is 608 richmond um lofty style uh homage those windows are homage to the old uh, factories the early 1900s they will turn out pretty good so that that there'll be like a one bedroom here okay nice modern kitchens pretty good that's the bed that's the bedroom uh, standard more or less looks great to me that one uh, is offered at five ninety nine nine. dollars now there was another unit that I showed you in the article that I posted um, here on Urban Realty if you go to eight stunning condos and townhomes you can buy right now um, one of them uh, that was here this is a good article uh, was this one this one's already off the market okay so these things are going fast um, it takes you back but you won't be here because it's off the market and these listings are like I said, automated. It's only going to show you what's available right now. This uh, completely computerized. Okay, but you can see what it looked like. It's a really, really, really nice spot. Um, so the same building is offering uh, various units. This one, I think the walls are finished. You can paint them yourself or have them finished for you. Um, so some of these units are lofty style and some of the more finished style. Okay, so that was 608 Richmond. Uh, moving on to 15 Beverly or 15 Degrees. Love this building because it's a unique boutique building where every almost every floor is kind of tilted a little bit, uh, turned around, twisted a bit on its uh, axis there, the horizontal axis, I guess it is. Um, and it's also got a bit of a lofty look to it. Uh, the location just off Queen and uh, Beverly. That's the, o the old Queen West, as we call it, or what we used to call Queen West before West Queen West. Uh, became uh, uh, the it uh, great corner unit got lots of views really really nice townhomes there okay very nice very nice finishes too great kitchen uh, this is offered at 920 if you see it on the listing uh, on this uh, on the live listing it's it's listed uh, but give me a call um, you know you won't show you if there's an offer or anything like that okay the next one is a uh, fashion house unit 705 is offered for 8249, 8249, that's the lobby, uh, that's the foyer of the apartment, uh, here's the living room, okay, that's cute, it's got a good height there, Fashion House is a shorter building, so the 8th floor corner unit, very, very nice, look at that, okay, very nice, very nice, very nice, Yossi likes it, very, very nice unit, okay, these are nice units, I've been in those, um, two bedroom, one bath, 800 and some square feet. You get all information here. Balcony is 170 square feet, so that's a big bonus. Let's see if there's a photo here of the balcony. Yeah. 
And that's a pretty good view, my friends. That's the CN Tower right there for you. Uh, that's the Belfast uh, lava, whatever it's called, the bar. Okay, so that's nice. And of course, the famous Fashion House Pool, where I hope to see you this summer. <laughs> All right. Uh, next, moving on to 95 Bathurst. This is a really unique uh, building and project. So this is one of the first free buildings. They came in two addresses, uh, 650 King and 95 Bathurst. It's the same project, okay? Uh, they were built together, sold together. So it's the same condo corporation. There's a kind of a walkway for you that goes from one to the other, which is kind of cool. Um, and it kind of wraps around uh, the corner of uh, King and Bathurst. So this is a, a nice unit. It's uh, set up real nice. It's a two-story unit. So on the lower level, you get kind of living space. And then uh, look at that. And it's open to above, which is absolutely gorgeous. That's uh, looking west towards Bathurst. Okay, that's from the top. It's really, really nice. Not a lot of these kind of uh, studios in town, but when you find them, they're really, they're really gorgeous. Uh, this, you know, it's, it's a bit of an older building, which means the units are larger, more spacious. They pay a lot of attention. Uh, that's the top room. Look at that. That's just gorgeous, okay? That's very, very nice. Uh, so this unit comes at a million eighty-eight. It's got two bedroom, two baths at eleven eighty-four square feet, two story. Okay, you can see it right here. Get all the information here. Um, if you scroll down, it's got the parking. Okay, and if you wanted to, you can on the right side request a showing, pick a date, and then put your info here. That's my info, and you can also add a note or a score card and kind of rate it as you like something like this or like that or like that or whatever you like and then it'll save it for you okay uh, next moving on is to 29 camden more lofty style this is a really unique building this is um and i wrote this in the article actually when you come here and you look at the camden right here uh so this was the camden lofts and that was the first urban capital um, project, which is a conversion. The building existed, they bought it, they renovated it. And this specific unit is a ground floor unit. It was made of three commercial ground level stores, retail stores, if you like, if you will. Um, not sure what was there before. And that's what they got now. So it's really, really cool. Look at that. Built in like a big house. Very modern, uber, uber modern, slick, clean. Um, you're like steps away from Spadina here. Pretty nice. Um, what do we got? About 1,200 square feet, 10 foot ceilings, three combined uh, commercial units, two bedroom, two baths. 29 cam, then unit 101 and 102, asking 1.3 million. 55 Stewart, <clears throat> which was um, the Thompson. Yep. Okay, that is a nice unit, my friends. This is one of these old, nice units. Not that old, but I just like what they've done here. I think um, that was such a, an impressive project that uh, took so much attention. There's the grand or the baby grand right in there. And it just turned out well. And a lot of these units at the Thompson are well designed and well built. I really like it. That's the corner for you. Lots of space, lots of light, lots of air. Beautiful bedroom. Nice touch with the chandelier. Nice contrast of the gold to the concrete ceiling. Kind of the bathroom peak in the back. Very, very nice. Got a little balcony there. Okay. There's a big uh, walk-in closet. Maybe there's a photographer in there. There's some uh, tripods. The bath is really, really nice. It's got um, tiles marble and uh, uh, backsplash all over really really good good job here i also like the way they have it uh, designed look at this okay so this is at 55 uh 1.749 that's the penthouse 1025 ph 1025 two bed two bath uh, over 1600 square feet 708 says the bottom here and 304 Square feet of outdoor terrace. Okay, there's um, you can click here for the tour, for the street view, for the map. 
this uh, interface. We've improved it quite a bit, so I really like um, what you get here. This is yossi.searchrealty.co. I'll call you back. <laughs> Never stops. Okay, so that's the building. Okay, uh, next is 850 Richmond Street West. There's just a few of these uh, townhouses, which are really nice. I really like them. Across the street, there's also a small townhouse uh, uh, cluster. 11.88, uh, good price in my opinion. These are large, um, 1,100 square feet and 253 of private rooftop terrace. Steps from Trinity Bellwoods. So what do you get here? That's the complex. Here, yeah, there's a few units. That's the unit. Look at this. This is a proper townhome in the city. Very, very nice. All built in. Uh, no wasted space. Watch under. They even finished under the stairs. It's properly finished. Uh, it's got a gas cook stove and a hood fan right on top. This is, this, this is well done. Well, Look at this. This is a great kitchen. It's all built in. You can cook up a storm here. And there's a beautiful, uh, another townhouse complex across the street. Okay, so that's a very, very good place to be. I think the price is very good, actually, for this townhome. Uh, just under a million one. Uh, the last one for today is 461 Adelaide, which is the back the back building, the north building of uh, Fashion House. You know, back and front is really depending uh, on your perspective, of course. Um, that's a small unit. It's really cute. That's what the building looks like from Adelaide. Okay. That's the Fashion House lobby. This is in the King building. Uh, these round couches are not there anymore. There's a nice new couch in there, by the way. Okay, so here's the unit. You come in. There's the bedroom. Here's the main room. That's pretty nice. That's a nice, efficient, and effective one bedroom. And uh, that comes to you at 4499. And of course, there'll be some kind of a bidding process to it. And uh, we'll see what happens. But it's available now. If you want to see it or bid on it this weekend, give me a shout. Very, very good investment. Okay? Um, here's my Twitter, twitter.com slash Jesse Kaplan. The reason I keep bringing Twitter is because it's kind of the repository of all my work and all the links going back into Twitter. So, you know, if you want to see what's going on, just hit, hit my Twitter. And there's so many links here. You can find all kinds of stuff. It's very easy for me with the phone. Just say, hey, that's really good. I should probably share this. Okay, and that's what I do. Some of them uh, double up. That's okay. Uh, it happens sometimes. That's technology. Um, and I would share from various sources. So it may look with a little picture and the, um, the text, or it may look like a large picture and the link. It doesn't matter. It takes you to the same place. Uh, there's some videos here going to my YouTube. Um, new videos will get this slide. So if you see this slide, just hit it or hit the link. And then you get a new video. You get an article with the new video. Uh, assignments are here. So if you want to see my assignment at point, point to home for 488 University Avenue, it's right there. Okay, there's my face. That's my name. Um, that's my office number because that's my listing. Okay. Um, some of those listings I post. Some of them I cannot. I just have to give it to you via the email or other ways. Okay. More videos, more stuff. Twitter goes on forever. Okay. Um, this is the kingly assignment. That's great. Um, okay, so a couple more things for today, and we'll keep it short, okay? Um, what I want you to do is uh, go to my YouTube, youtube.com slash Jesse Callum. Please subscribe, like, dislike. It's all good. As long as I get the attention, YouTube likes it, and then it shows it to other people. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I try to upload one or two videos a week, sometimes more, and these videos are candid. You know, I don't script them. Uh, there's no list here. I just open a bunch of tabs, and I'm just talk to you like I talk to an investor and explain what's going on in the Toronto real estate market. And what's going on now, you know, I'm always going to touch on it at the beginning or the end of the video, usually at the end, keep the, the candy for the end. But what's going on right now is I found myself last weekend in a bunch of bidding wars on behalf of a buyer. Now, I usually work with sellers, but once in a while, I'm lucky enough to work with a buyer. And it's very interesting because you, can, you learn a lot when you are a buyer, one of many submitting a bid to one unit. Everyone wants the same unit. And it's absolutely clear to me, and I've said it before, um, units which are good, when you buy a good unit, and that's why people come to me and, and I help them buy, because I help them pick good unit. And when you have a good unit, you're good for a long time, baby. You're just good, because everybody wants you. You know, like you got the good. So they want you for short term, they want you for long term. Whatever it is, you're doing great. So that's why you go with the OC. 
And all these videos here explain um, about what's available for sale, um, differences between various like assignment, pre-construction, resale, um, the difference between owning or renting, review of the condo market, of the real estate market, explaining how the market goes, um, various deals, rental guarantees, in Toronto, a bit of out of Toronto, all that stuff, okay? And uh, so far, touch wood, so good. I think that the information I've been sharing has been very, very helpful and also very true because I just tell you what it is, okay? I'm not trying to make it, uh, it's a, that's a good body of work here. Um, I, I, I don't try to make it pretty or anything. I just tell you what it is. You know, if the market's going to go down, I tell you. If it's going to go up, I'll tell you. If it's whatever it is, the point is to explain how it works. At the end of the day, real estate is one of the best, if not the best way to invest for investors, especially for us, mom and pop, you know, one person who buys one, two, three, maybe five or ten units, condos, houses, whatever it is. Uh, some people buy buildings, small buildings. Some people buy a lot, you know, of, of assembled uh, portfolios for investors starting with one unit and ending up, you know, millions of dollars worth of units. That's okay. Um, everyone have their preference and their system. And what I try to do is I try to share, I share my knowledge with you in such a way that you will be able to find what works for you, what kind of resonates with you because one good investment uh, for this investor may not be the best for you because you don't feel the same about it. Okay, so... <clears throat> my style and my thing is I like to share information, but I give you the decision making. That's up to you. If you're going to ask me what I think is better, I'll tell you, absolutely. But at the end of the day, it's like it's got to fit you. It's got to feel right. And that's that's the whole thing. Okay? So that's what's going on here. I teach you how to recognize good investment and how to see a good investment for what it is. Okay? And that that's our thing. We're looking for the good investments. Um UrbanRealtyToronto.com. I post a lot of information here for many years. York Real Luxury Real Estate. You'll find more expensive stuff here. Keep the exclusive exclusive. And you'll see that searchrealty.co. Put anything you want in here. <clears throat> Let's look at the downtown. C1. It'll come up with whatever you got. And then you can start sorting and filtering. And getting everything you want, okay? The first search will be just raw search, and then you filter through it, okay? That's it. That's uh, <laughs> for 17 million, you can own the corner of uh, Queen and Dover Court. That's the uh, the Dover Court building, okay? Very nice. Uh, so that's what I got for you today. Yossi Kaplan, yossikaplan.com, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. You got it. That's it. <laughs>